Hey guys, it's Miss Brianne again, and today I'm going to show you a different recipe for some homemade Play Doh, but it's not just going to be any Play Doh. Today we're going to make some dirt Play Doh, um, not using real dirt. <laughs> so, all we're going to need for this is one cup of all purpose flour, a quarter cup of coffee grinds, don't worry, they're used. We don't waste coffee around here. <laughs> Half a cup of salt, table salt. Um, you're going to need one teaspoon of cream of tartar, and one tablespoon of vegetable oil, and half a cup of warm water. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to combine all our dry ingredients together. So I'm going to go ahead and add my one cup of flour, my half a cup of salt, my quarter cup of coffee grinds, grounds, I never get that word right, <laughs> and one teaspoon of our cream of tartar. So I'm going to go ahead and mix that really quick. So now we're going to add in our wet ingredients. So I'm going to add in my half a cup of hot water. And my tablespoon of vegetable oil. And we're just going to combine all that. Keep on mixing. Again, just like our other recipe, if it's too wet, go ahead, add a little more flour. Too dry, add a little more water. You know the drill. I forgot to mention this, but we um, also are going to need a little bit of brown food coloring. Um, I'll put it down in the ingredients list below in the description box, but I forgot to mention that in the beginning. If you don't have any brown food coloring, I know that's kind of hard to come by. Um, you can either make your own by mixing um, different colors together like red, green, um, yellow, and blue, and it'll kind of turn to like a brownish tan color. Or you could take a little bit of instant coffee and color it that way. Alright, so mine's turning into a nice dough. So I'm going to stop with the spoon and I'm going to put a little flour down and put my play-doh down and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. Okay, so now that we have our dough down, um, I'm going to add a little bit of brown food coloring that I made at home because like many of you, I don't just have brown food coloring. So I'm going to add some drops into here. Hopefully it's a good color. Again, you could use instant coffee if you want to do that instead. But your Play-Doh is going to smell a lot like coffee, even more so than it does now. And we're just going to mix that in. This recipe makes a lot, a lot of dough. So if you want, you can cut this in half. I just want to make a lot because we're going to be playing with it in class. I'm going to add a little more coloring because this is a lot of dough. And once you're done, you can just have them play with the Play-Doh. The coffee gr grounds are in there for texture. Um, you could have them play with little cars in there, little trucks. Um, you could hide little like dinosaurs or fossils for them to dig out. Just have fun. There we go. All right, so I ended up having to add a little more of the food coloring that I made. But it turned out to be this nice, like, tan color. You can see all that texture in there from the coffee grounds. 
Um, if you use actual brown food coloring, I'm sure you can get it a little bit darker, but I don't mind that it's this color. And when I'm done with it, I usually store it in one of these plastic containers. Um, I recommend storing it in the fridge. And yeah, I hope you really like this video. Um, I really miss all of you guys, and I hope that I can see you soon.